Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning how to create this beautiful picture frame from resin. And to create this, all this material is required, which is available at tulsiresin.com. Link is below in the description. So first of all, let's mix up the resin. We have already mixed the resin. The resin calculation is done on the resin calculator, which is freely available at tulsiresin.com. Now we have shifted our resin into different cups. In one cup we have mixed a gold foil, and in this another cup we are mixing terracotta opaque pigment so we have to mix it very nicely use a stick to mix it and now we have another pigment which is sand opaque pigment so we have taken another cup added some resin and we'll take new stick to mix up our sand color into resin now to lighten up our terracotta color we have added a little bit white pearl pigment into our terracotta color to give it a little shine and to decrease the depth of the color and this is our sand color mix it nicely again stir it nicely for one to two minutes so that your color get mixed completely even when we mix our resin resin plus hardener today we are using three to one art epoxy resin so you have to mix that also nicely you we have to measure it into the weighing scale and after that we have to mix it so now we'll start pouring, we'll start with our sand color. And then the gold foil one. We have to make sure that our mold is completely filled with resin when we are creating our base layer. And in the center we'll pour our transparent resin. So to complete up our mold, we have to make sure that your mold is completely filled with resin. So we make sure our mold is completely filled. Now we have this brown color, the terracotta color is left and we'll create similar lines with our terracotta color. Now you can pour it as per your choice, however you want to create it. If you want to create the pattern in center, you can pour it in the center. And if you want to create the pattern inside, you can pour it in the side. There's no issue with that. The pattern can be created as per your choice. Now after your mold is filled, we are trying to spread it a little. We can use a stick, a spatula or a toothpick to create our design. Now we'll be adding some flowers. Here are some gypsy flowers which we have cut and we will be adding into our transparent layer. If you want to add the pressed flowers, we can do that as well. The gypsy, the yellow color gypsy with the sand color and terracotta color looks amazing. And now in the end, we'll use isopyl alcohol to pop the bubbles, cover it up and leave it to dry for the next day. Now it's the next day and you can see our texture is dry. The first layer is ready. And now for the second layer, we'll be taking this picture. This is a photo paper. The picture is printed on a photo paper. And this is an infinity metal sticker. So we have to stick the metal sticker first and the picture we are using our adhesive to stick it so we have used b6000 adhesive make sure that your corners have complete adhesive so that resin does not go inside your picture so you have to make sure that if you are not using a laminated picture you stick it very well now we have some pearl beads pearl beads stickers actually so these are half pearl sticker i'm using it to enhance the look of our frame as we are not using a laminated picture we have to seal up our picture so for that i am using this bristol spray varnish you can use any clear spray varnish double coating at least to protect our picture and if you are using a, but the laminated picture works amazing it does not give you any problem so now we have already mixed our three to one art epoxy resin to do the top coating so this is that we have again used 90 ml of resin and 30 ml of hardener as of the first layer so the total resin required to create this frame would be 240 ml and which we goes 180 ml of resin and 60 ml of hardener which is in the ratio of 3 is to 1 when we are using our 3 is to 1 resin now spread up the resin completely over the top of your frame so that it looks smooth and even and again we'll be using our isopyl alcohol to pop the bubbles 
and leave it to dry for the next day and next day when we remove it from the mold the frame is completely ready subscribe our channel for more such tutorials